select committee process, and I look forward to the debate uh, this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Janine Anderson. Uh, thank you for the opportunity for speaking on uh, this important bill for, uh, for Nelson and for the Waimea Plains. Um, I was lucky enough to be uh, one of the members who travelled to Richmond to hear submissions uh, for one uh, full day uh, from the community in terms of those that were uh, going to directly benefit from this scheme and also from those who were opposed. So um, I'm thankful for that opportunity and from those uh, of the community who took their time to come forward. Uh, and, and give their views. So on, on the day, it was interesting to hear the background of this uh, piece of legislation and the fact that there have been low water flows of that river catchment for some time, which is well known as being the fruit bowl um, of, of one of the main areas of, of Nelson. And it's sustained through those, um, those aquifers, many agricultural industries over uh, decades and decades within uh, New Zealand. And it is those aquifers that are, are we are advised under threat as a result um, of, of water depletion, and that provides a threat not just to um, residential households of having a security of supply of fresh water, but also uh, a lot of those agricultural businesses which people rely upon for jobs, and uh, many, much of the community relies upon strongly over a long period of time. So this bill uh, enables the construction of a dam uh, that would enable uh, that water to be built up and to replenish those aquifers. Uh, in fact, it's 13.4 million cubic metres of reservoir um, located behind the dam, and that can be, in fact, released in a controlled ma manner during periods of high water demand and of low and natural river flows. And it's intended to be able to, um, I guess, replenish the Waimea Plains over that time. And it has been noted already today that um, we, the expert advice we received uh, indicated that this was beneficial for the long term um, of, of that security of fresh water supply in that area. Uh, in the transfer of land, it's interesting to note, and um, my colleague uh, Stuart Nash has already mentioned, that there is an impact on iwi that still re requires um, final uh, confirmation. So the iwi affected um, within Te Tau Ihu, um, uh, Ngāti Kuata, Ngāti, uh, Ngāti Apa ki te tō, Ngāti Kuia, Rangitane o Wairau, Ngāti Toa Rangit Rangatira, uh, Ngāti, Ngāti Rārua, Ngāti Tama ki te Tau Ihu, Te Atiawa o Te Wako a Māori. And those eight iwi um, need to have full written consent um, provided back to the government to make sure uh, that when you transfer land, as, we, as, this, uh, as this piece of legislation provides to do, is transferring land from Crown ownership, which has a right of first refusal, uh, that that can be triggered. So that land is being transferred to uh, the Tasman District Council, and the right of the first refusal uh, will be transferred along with uh, to, to local government. So we need to be reassured that those eight iwi are comfortable uh, with that transfer and that that does not provide any, um, any uh, side issues or any other, other concerns around treaty right, rights in that space. Um, it was really interesting to, to sit in, in Richmond uh, during that day and hear the full range of submissions. And, and I, I, I would like to say that it was a pretty charged up day. There were some pretty fired up people there. And Nick Smith's nodding because uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith uh, was actually uh, ha took, a, took a few uh, uh, difficult uh, people uh, who, who were not so happy with the bill on that day. So uh, he, he, I was uh, surprised. He, he was smiling still at the end of the day, but there was uh, some pretty rigorous Opposition to the construction of the, of, of the dam in that area. So the main, the main um, arguments made in support of, of this bill was the fact that it sustained a strong agricultural um, uh, base that has been operating within this area for a long period of time, and that that um, would be addressing critical water shortages, um, and that was seen by submitters as the best solution um, to provide security over the next 100 years and more in that area. Um, the economic cost to the region um, of not proceeding with this scheme was also highlighted by a range of submitters. Uh, the, the, con the concern that many of those businesses, orchards, apples, would not be able to continue to thrive without that security of water supply. 
And um, also a clear point that was uh, made was ensuring that uh, the needs of stakeholders and improving water quality uh, would be um, reassured, that uh, by having the dam in place and replenishing those aquifers, it would ensure that there was a high quality of water. Um, and, and another point that was, was made um, by, I think, Fish and Game, if I remember correctly, that while this, uh, this legislation provides to transfer uh, conservation land, the Crown land, um, it is a relatively small land and limited of limited conservation value. One of the changes that was uh, recommended has been uh, carried out is that to ensure that there is access to the public, uh, and that was raised uh, by submitters in that day, and we've made sure that where all um, possible actions are taken to ensure public access into that land. <coughs> Um, it was interesting to hear from, from farmers who had been third and fourth generations who had continued to um, uh, make a living on that land and to hear their concerns that they wanted to, um, they wanted to make sure that their businesses would continue to thrive in the future. Uh, there was views from those who had businesses that there was adequate consultation carried out by the, the Tasman District Council, um, but that, funnily enough, was the main uh, protest point of those who who did not want this bill to proceed. There was uh, deep concerns that the consultation process undertaken by the Tasman District Council was insufficient, and uh, 67 submissions, in fact, raised concerns about that consultation process. Um, there was um, a very um, strong opposition to the fact that people did not want this dam to proceed. Um, and uh, acknowledging those who took the time and were um, really passionate about uh, this for the area and not wanting to see uh, it proceed. A key component of that concern of not wanting the dam to proceed was opposition to the financial impact of the dam. So submitters note that in recent years the estimated cost of, of building has surged from 26 million to 102 million and um, are concerned that that will be borne by ratepayers who won't directly benefit from the construction of this dam. And in, in the words of some, it was seen um, that those farmers on the land were benefiting uh, from the, the ratepayers' contribution to a dam that they would not see a direct benefit from. Um, the, the Waimea scheme is for the benefit of urban and commercial water supply and, and will have economic and environmental benefits for the local community, uh, particularly within the Tasman District Council, but also, uh, also in the Nelson City Council as well. Um, and it's good to see that um, if uh, we take the view that uh, if the Tasman District Council wishes to proceed with this, and this is a local issue which has been uh, voted on, um, that is for the local community to determine the best way forward. So the Waimea scheme has been controversial, that's well noted, and I saw that up close and personal on the day, um, especially as to that cost. But Labor's position has been that the future of the scheme is in local hands, and with it being to the Tasman District Council and other local interests to decide whether the, whether the scheme proceeds or not. And this has been resolved by the Tasman District Council vote, uh, and I note that two votes were taken on the 28th of August in 2018. Councillors voted by a narrow margin to abandon the project. Uh, about the ballooning price, but on 6 September 2018, councillors voted uh, in favour 9 to 5 for the dam to proceed in light of the new funding model that had been reached uh, after working with investors. So the government's financial support for the scheme is subject to normal contractual conditions being met and to financial close, as already has been noted, being reached by the 15th of December, and details need to be reached to work through this. So it'll be interesting to see whether we can continue to get all the paperwork completed in time and the final uh, requirements for this bill to be done um, in the final Members' Day of this sitting session. So without further ado, Mr Speaker, I wish all of the uh, people in, in Tasman and the Nelson area all the best with the future with this exciting proposition. I think it holds great promise for jobs, for industry and for those that have farmed the land for a long time. I commend this bill to the House. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this.